So what Quavo said was, what he was trying to say was, in English, man, why are you going to quiz me like that? Here's what he said. Man, why are you going to quiz me like that? <laughs> That's that lemon. That's today's hip hop. Man, why are you going to quiz me like that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, hey, <laughs> listen, I just I just booked uh, Madison Square Garden. Not the big really? theater. No, the Hulu Theater. Holds okay, 5,000. Okay. Uh, and, you know, up until this point, I mainly do comedy clubs. I've done a couple of theaters, but with other people. So will that be your this biggest one? I'm doing this one by one? myself. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, Congratulations. So, where is this at? Uh, in, Madison in New Square York? Garden. Oh, it's gonna yeah, go. Yeah, you, yeah, that's your yeah. home. So, and when so, is that? Uh, May 18th. May 18th, yeah. so y'all need to go buy yeah. y'all tickets. Okay? I'm, 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 I'm fly. He's like, you going? I'm going to fly. I'm going to come up there because you're here. Yeah. It's, a, it's a different thing with me, bro. I yeah. pull up. You yeah, know and then I mean? I'm also at uh, the Wilbur Theater in Boston on yeah. May 14th. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, man, um, it, uh, it's progression, you know? It's all about progression. So uh, as hard as it is to get there, as long as you get there, so what? What about What's the hardest city you've ever had to perform? Oh, Mississippi. Why? What? Yeah, I like n****s that read. <laughs> oh, watch your mouth, man. We're in the South. Yo, <laughs> no, 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 but y'all. We're in the South. No, no, no. You're in the South, but not really. <laughs> not really. When we talking about Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia. It gets that's, deep. that's slavery South. <laughs> Some of them niggas just got freed yesterday. <laughs> you be going down there, though. You do shows. I really, out. I, I, no. You don't go down there? I used to. I, I, I used to. I used to do Stardome in Alabama. I used to do Chuckles in Memphis. Zanies in Nashville, even though I would like to get back to Nashville. But uh, they don't laugh as much at the jokes. It's not or? that they don't laugh. It's just my energy is so East Coast and I'm such a fast talker. I think sometimes I don't know that I connect with the mm. South the way. And listen, I've been going to those places and they've told me, hey man, I f with you, Mike. You know, I f with you hard, Mike. You my boy, Mike. <laughs> You know, and they tell me they love me the same way everywhere else. But I just, the connection to me feels off. Uh -huh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like when you look at certain comics like Arnez J, Bruce Bruce, they kill that market. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think they ha they're they able to flow a little bit better than I can in that market. And what's your best market? Of course, LA. I love the East Coast, West East Coast, Coast, Midwest. Just the deep, deep South. I just. And you I, love music, right? Who doesn't? So, okay, there's a big thing that um, I've heard people talk about. They talk about music in the up north compared to music down south. That up well, north you know, they, they, they the Mecca because he in New York. I'm a southerner. They, they proud as hell. I'm going to tell you that now. I, I, got, but a lot I, but of, I, I got a lot of friends up there. But I give credit where credit is due, yeah. man. You know, listen. Do y'all listen and, to and, a lot of down south music? No. No, no, they hate no, us. They gonna hate us. No, 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 you know the Migos and all that confused well, well, them. Well, all of them, all them damn you. cadences <laughs> confused the hell out of them boys. Let me stop. Let me stop. Go I, ahead. I, my man who draw, again drew me down here, my boy Red Rock. We was just listening to Meth and Red in the car, and we old heads. So, you know, prior to what exists today, a la the Migos. Listen, everybody had their reign. It started in New York, hip hop born out of the Bronx. You know, Jay-Z, like he said, New York, home of the spitters. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. And then the West Coast took it over. And then the South took it over. Yeah. Jeezy, Lil yeah. Wayne, yeah. T.I. Yeah. And I think during that era, very respectable. Very respectable. And some lyricists came out of the South. Andre 3000, T.I., real lyricists. Pim C, before that? Today? Let me just say this. I got Migos it. <laughs> and Future and... Ugh. All I'm gonna say is, is not listen, that. no, but he just said lyricists. And we jam down here. That's why I come PMC said the country rap tune. We looking at a bounce. We looking Star at face. a face. We Star face. My Star boy is Willie D. Hey, you bringing up that's something I'm gonna ask you about too. Willie D just got a lot of flack behind that new interview he did with Cap. I heard Cap about Williams. the flack. I don't know exactly it's why like he caught he, the flack. He, he came out and said somebody like a, yeah. yesterday or the day before. He was like, you know, they were because they was comparing the two interviews. Shannon Sharp's interview is hard to come behind, but he did that before. Stop right there. Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is useless. Bull <laughs> Giving another black man flat for what? <laughs> when we can do better than that. And that's my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, this is what we are about? I about that, yeah. Come on, man. We got to do better than this. He went in and he, 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 he addressed like, it. He yeah, was like, he this said ain't like right. He had to address it. I'm like, okay, but why even address it then? 
Just leave it alone. This ain't right. That's what he said. This he is did. what we do. He didn't nigga, like what? no comments. What that nigga say? Man, fuck that nigga. <laughs> That's what we do. You know, listen, my, and my joke was about, we were talking about Migos with Quavos. Uh, I was watching this show called uh, Hustle and Flow on Netflix, mm -hmm. and it's a rap competition yeah, show. Yeah. And each rapper from their region has other rappers from their region judge the contestants. Okay. And I told the story on Vlad. So Atlanta, it was Big Boy, T.I., and Quavo. So T.I. turns to one of the, turns to Quavo in regards to one of the contestants and go, hey man, what do you think about that dude? And Quavo felt like he was being put on the spot. So what Quavo said was, what he was trying to say was, in English, man, why are you gonna quiz me like that? Here's what he said. Man, why are you gonna quiz me like that? <laughs> That's that lemon. That's today's hip hop. Man, why are you gonna quiz me like that? What do they talk like this? They dialect is different. Now. But certain the parts, they dialect is different. You certain parts you where you go, that proper, that's proper, where people in the country. Certain parts in the country. It depends and, on where and, you're and, from. And, and when people were going in the comments, man, Aries don't understand. That's just a southern thing. I said, don't regulate that to the south. Ti's from the south. Andre 3000's from the south. Big boy, ludicrous, all from the south. You can understand them just fine. That ain't got nothing to do with southern region. That is ignorance. I don't oh, agree with that. that. God, that's that's why their mother could have talked like that. But their mother ignorant. Mo well, you can't do that because they ignorance come up. is passed down. But it's generational. This is something that's in their culture, man. It depends on where you are. At some point, you got to learn to read. Jamaicans talk different. They cut up our word. I married the one for 27 no, 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 years. No, no, and but, I go over there. They that, cut those words up. They patois those words. It depends on different. what part you're but, from. But that's How is that different? Being, if you're Jamaican, if you're English, that's not messing up words. That's your. That's who you are as a Jamaican. That's your culture. New Orleans do the same thing, bro. Quit me like that. No, but it's also, not it English. <laughs> because even in Jamaica, if you're from Kingston compared to if you're from the country areas, the accent is a little bit stronger. It depends on where you're from. But quit me like that and not an accent. <laughs> just that's it. not an accent. Just stop it. That's fucked up English. <laughs> I gotta get I can't out of there. Jamaican accent. Give me some Jamaican real quick. Something you it's would hard say. for her to do it. But no, do the, like tell me what to say and I will say. Anything, just say anything. Like where y'all going? Why? Um, ugh, I hate to be put on. You going? Where you going to the store or something like yeah. that? Say yeah. that. Okay. Um, why don't you? No. <laughs> she was English, man. She been Englishized. You're bad. Um, <laughs> American. Like, why you don't go down the store? Let me. Let me. British accent. British accent. One go on. No. British accent. Uh. A lot of times people that come here and, and, and they won't judge you, but not for a little bit. Now, that's okay. an accent. Then that, you're not f***ing up the language. That's your accent. Quit me like that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not an accent. That's, that's you f***ing up the language. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.